first bout here. Daryl Wilson, number 12 now in the IVF because of the big upset over Shannon Briggs and Ricky Sullivan out of Schuylerville. And there's Daryl Wilson, 16-0, two draws, 11 knockouts. And, of course, the most important one, the one over Daryl Wilson. We're going to go up to our ring announcer now, J.J. Wright with the introductions. Gentlemen, good evening everyone and welcome to the Roxy in historic Boston, Massachusetts. I'm JJ Wright and welcome aboard as Cedric Kushner Sports Network presents the Corona Extra Heavyweight Explosions. Now tonight's bouts are being telecast worldwide tonight on the TVKO, which is America's pay-for-view network. So are you ready for some excitement and some action tonight, ladies and gentlemen? All right, let's get right to it. Let's meet our players in our first bout tonight. This is a 10 round between the heavyweights and this heavyweight explosion. So let's go right over to the blue corner. Rank number 12 in the IBF with an incredible rest, 16 wins, including 11 knockouts, weighing in at 228 pounds. From Danville, Virginia, give it up for Daryl Wilson. In the red corner, with six incredible wins, including four KOs at 212 pounds from Skylerville, New York, give it up for Rick Roundhouse Sullivan. So, gentlemen, if you're ready, it is showtime. Let's do it. tonight, Mike Ryan. Underway, schedule for 10. John, what can we expect from Wilson early in the fight? Slow start, fast start. He looked fast, obviously, against Shannon Briggs. Well, of course, we saw Shannon Briggs swarm him as he does every other fighter. And Wilson managed to escape that first round and came back and basically knocked the fight right out of Shannon Briggs by the second round and stopped. In this kind of a fight, I think you're going to see Wilson taking his time a little bit. Well, Wilson has scored knockouts. They've got under three rounds. He's got one knockouts in 16 wins. All of them coming in three rounds or less. But it seems like with a brawler like Rick Sullivan, you don't want to give him a lot of time in there in the ring because if you do something fluky and you get cut, that's not going to be good enough. Wilson is still learning the nuances of the professional game. Turn pro at 27. He's 30 years of age right now. Very late. And that's what Ricky's uh, known for doing on the circuit. He's not your basic sharpshooter right now. Not training start, that's a typical thing that a fighter 
was definitely south of the border, Tijuana style. Catching up on the tail of the tape tonight, you see Darrell Wilson with a one-inch height advance. Ricky Sullivan, and the correction on the weights, it's Ricky Sullivan at 228, Wilson at 218. Okay, that puts things into perspective. Slight reach advantage for Darrell Wilson. And we have a correction coming on the ages as well. We have Darrell Wilson is 30 years of age. He is 30. says that nah, it didn't hurt me but John we know better that's the first sign when a fighter shakes it off you know he got stung and that's just what Ricky Sullivan did and now you really see Daryl Wilson turning it they heat up here in the second round Shorts, Ricky Sullivan, he's in the blue with the white stripe, no knockdowns thus far in the fight. Already, I gotta tell you though, you know, if you put things in perspective, Ricky Sullivan's doing better than Shannon Briggs.
man lead there from Wilson. Interesting statistic though, Wilson has never stopped anybody past round number three. Goes past round number three, the fight goes the distance. Interesting distance fight too, as cruiserweight Terry McGroom went the full ten rounds to get a draw against Darrell Wilson. That's the same Terry McGroom that fought a 10 round draw with Anthony Hembrook recently in Detroit. attention and we're only halfway gone here in round number three. That's what I like to see. Set up that right hand with a jab. Unfortunately he didn't find the target. He's a little more tentative now about rushing in. Sullivan caught him coming in that time. This is essentially target practice for Darrell Wilson right here. I mean Ricky Sullivan has a big bullseye paint on that forehead. I'd like to see Wilson learn to hook off that jab too, Arnie. That's something a young fighter, in his case he's 30, but in terms of experience he's young, needs to learn to do. He's had only 18 pro fights again, came into this fight 16-0, two draws, 11 KOs. You have to only wonder what would have happened, John, if he hadn't turned pro when he was 27 years of age. And very light amateur career. Wanted to be a pro football player, Darrell Wilson.
stops it. We're, I guess we're playing the waiting game a little bit here. We're waiting to see. Telling him go to the body. It's a learning process. And he's got a ways to go. Coming up, the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship between Sullivan and James Gaines. But right now, we've got Ricky Sullivan getting into the desperate hours. as much as you have to wonder why he's getting hit by them. Coming to you from the Roxy in Boston, Massachusetts. Looks with the uh, balconies here, it might be a little bit of the Blue Horizon in Philadelphia. Has it definitely a Blue Horizon vibe and a special box, one of the promoters of Blue Horizon.
Chris in about a week in the theater. Major bomb, straight to video. We take a look, there's the balcony. And this is also where, uh, this is a landmark building, isn't it? I believe this is a historic the building landmark. Is, but the Rocks has only been here nine years. Good fight crowd here tonight on hand for heavyweight explosion. Looking forward, of course, to the Obed Sullivan James Gaines title fight coming up. We caught the tail end of Ricky Sullivan's corner there as we begin round number seven, and they said, Don't say nothing, John. What are they referring to? Arnie, I don't have the foggiest. So he's got, maybe they're afraid if he opens his mouth. Tua looked fantastic taking Johnny Ruiz out in one round. Dal Wilson looking a little tired now, and as you pointed out, he drops that left after the jab. Ricky Sullivan trying his own jab now to counter. I don't know why Rick doesn't jab more often. I mean, it's such a, a fundamental to just pull the box. And without a jab, you're nothing as a fighter. Mike Tyson is doing pretty well without a jab, although in his prime as he was coming up the first time, Tyson had a very underrated jab. Under a minute to go in round number seven. This is scheduled for ten. Now, one of the other things with Ricky Sullivan, as we mentioned, he's never been past eight. He may just be preserving himself, doesn't want to throw too many punches. Darrell Wilson, on the other hand, I don't have an excuse for, for why he's slowing down here in round number seven. Interesting. One corner is down Darrell Wilson, 
This guy's nothing. You've got to get on him. Don't worry about getting caught, which makes you think that maybe some of Sullivan's punches did catch him when Wilson was napping. Ricky Sullivan saying he's number 12. He's not so great. He might not have a bad point. And you heard Elijah White, Wilson's trainer, pumping him up in the corner, sensing that his fighter was feeling fatigue and perhaps even psychologically telling himself I'm running out of gas and slowing down in the fight. They want Sullivan out of there. They, they would love to stop him inside of 10 rounds. This is not going to look good for their fighter. Well, we're even at a point right now where Darrell Wilson's stock is dropped. As we pointed out earlier, Wilson has never stopped anybody past the third round. He's gone the 10 round distance twice. In. If he gets past this round, he's in uncharted waters. Well, Wilson needs to develop more of an arsenal, Arnie. He's really got the jab going for him. And Rick Sullivan just kissed Darrell Wilson, and Wilson laughed it off. That was a nice gesture of sportsmanship after all that. But really, Wilson needs to develop other punches, and that's why he's a limited fighter. Wilson fires one of those jabs. I'd love to see him throw the right hand right down the pipe. He's not really doing that. He's just whacking Sullivan up, but he's not taking advantage of the opportunities. And I gotta tell you, John, at this point, I'd like to see him even double on the jab. He seems throws one jab at a time. Nothing left for the Sullivan and James Gaines for the IBF Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship. And John, with through eight, how have you got it? I mean, it's a virtual shutout for Daryl Wilson at this point. I mean, you might score one of those rounds even, or maybe give one to Sullivan. Based on Wilson not doing it. Time to rumble now. Our nominations together, like you do in the gym. What do you think, Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Like a Jamal or somebody. You know, Dave or Dave. Bang, bang, bang. Put them together. Put yourself yeah. together and keep your head in there. You can't hurt you. The whole world looking at you. Put your chin down and bang that body like you really want. Come on, show me. I got it. 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 in his career. Both of them, but he seems apprehensive about using it. 
and Sullivan talking to him on the inside when the two fighters neared each other. As if to say, you ain't got nothing, man. We're in round number nine. There's been no knockdowns thus far in the fight. That's Darrell Wilson. He's in the black shorts. Ricky Sullivan, he's in the blue and white. Wilson came into the fight undefeated. 16 and 0, two draws, 11 knockouts. Sullivan, a 6 and 11 fighter, four knockouts. And of course, Wilson, the prohibitive favorite here, coming off the big knockout win over Shannon Briggs. Everybody expected a quick blowout of Ricky Sullivan, and we're here in the ninth round, halfway gone in round number nine. And Ricky Sullivan is still standing, and he's been standing the entire fight. I guess the matchmakers do something, huh? Well, again, Sullivan showed a lot of durability in his last two fights, both losing efforts, but going the eight-round distance both times. A lot of swelling and puffiness, and now some blood trickling down from Sullivan's nose. Oh, there he is, battling back, still trying. Cute as it may be to some fight fans. Left hand by Wilson is trying to follow up. This is a great fight where he should be able to possibly to finish the job. This is Sullivan just trying to hold on and survive this round and get into the tent. His body work and he was pleading with Darrell Wilson all throughout the fight. Go to the body and that's where, that's where Sullivan is most susceptible. I think the fight would have been over if he had listened to his corner. In fact, if he has enough steam left, I think he could end it right here, but he's letting Sullivan off the hook. And we've got less than 20 seconds to go in round number nine, and you know Ricky Sullivan's a man on a mission. His mission is to go to distance. Wilson's mission to stop Ricky Sullivan. His stock goes down tremendously if Ricky Sullivan goes to distance with him. wants to survive one more round to go the full 10. He's in an area he's never been before. He's never been before. Big rounds. Oh, yeah. One round. I think that's how I'm going to my throat. Sullivan's left really good. Oh, so this is the oh, 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 o
fighting at Stopping Ricky Sullivan, a fighter that's been stopped six times in his career, came into the fight with a 6-11 and 11 record, only four knockouts, not much of a punching threat. You've got to wonder where Darrell Wilson's going from here. perspective you have your good nights you have your bad nights not a bad performance a lot of things to work on but mm -hmm. after the big KO she he was supposed oh, to be the second be coming yeah. didn't turn out that way Five. his promoter yeah, made a Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, yeah, yeah. JJ having a technical problem here. Get check, check. on the 10 round distance the first time in his career and 10 rounds with a man who stopped Shannon Briggs in three. Check. And up to JJ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Our first bout of the evening, the winner by unanimous decision, Darren Wilson in the blue corner. There you have it. No surprise, Darren Wilson, winner. And a big round of applause decision. for Rick Sullivan. exactly what he thinks might have gone wrong tonight and again not to take anything away from a victory but certainly what went wrong relative to the fact that he was expected to knock out Ricky Sullivan we're going to go up to our John Saraceno in the ring with Darrell Wilson okay John all right Darrell you had a huge win against Shannon Briggs tonight in with a less skilled fighter are you disappointed that he went to full 10 rounds against you no I feel good because I ain't had no good buckling in a while like that so I'd rather go to 10 rounds than have a knockout what was happening with all those low blows there? Very early, it got very dirty. To me, I don't think it was low. He was just, I think he was just faking doing a Riddick Bowl, uh, doing his uh, plans or something, making a play. And, and then, so, and let me a couple of times like that, too. So, hey, I told you, he, he, hit me down and hit him back. And later on, he made up by it by kissing you, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he kissed me twice, right? Tried to make me mad, but I still kept my opposure. You know, some people in the in the boxing have questioned your punching power, and tonight you were really unable to get him out of there. What do you think of your ability to, to punch? Oh, like I said, depends on what kind of fight. I like I said, depends on what kind of fight I fight. I got a good fighter, I bring the best out of me. But I can't look at it like that. I got a even a bad fighter. I, I got to work harder. You know what I'm saying? Well, in the rounds I turn it up, and later rounds I'll turn it up. So he was getting tired. He was grabbing me a lot. What's the toughest thing about fighting a brawling? club fighter like Rick Sullivan? Well, they're the type, they'll survive. They're going to survive, do what they can do, do anything. Try to throw a, catch a haymaker punch, catch you anything. So you got to look off for all that. So you can't uh, doubt nobody, like I told you. Any fighter, any, 
Fight over the right leg. Give you a hard fight. What I tell you. Did you want to take? It looked like really the corner was on you at the end of the fight between rounds to get him out of there. Well, they told me to go to the body. So he said he had a hard head. He got a hard head. And then as the round went on, I started working his body. So I think if I did it earlier when they told me, I think he'd have been gone earlier. But I just got in a head hunting position. So he gave me the head, I just took it instead of going to his body. So he's moving the head a lot. But you kind of say you can't move the body. What about doubling up on your jab? We know you throw a lot of single jabs, but you weren't doubling up. And even and as a young fighter, you're trying to learn to hook off the jab. Oh, yeah. You still have a ways to go. I still got a ways. I'm still learning. I'm still a little puppy. I ain't, I ain't got anything right like I wanted yet, but it's coming along. So I, 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 I thank the Lord for that. So get back in the gym and get more better boxing. Now, Daryl, there's been talk that you might fight David Two and next. Is that a fight you would welcome? Is that a fight you want made soon? Oh, I take it. Make a difference. Cause he like uh, like Shannon, he ain't fought nobody. So, do with them building them up slowly. They doing the right thing. So, when that fight come on, it'll be a great fight. It's gonna be like a Tyson fight, be like Tyson and Holyfield. You think you can really hang in there with the big punchers in the heavyweight division? You're a small heavyweight. You're not the biggest guy in the world. Oh, hey, look at Holyfield. He wasn't a big guy, but he was fast. So that, that's that's what we're working on now. Our speed and stuff now. It's coming along. It'll take time, but it's coming. So, that's all we gotta do is get back in the gym. And get more work. That's it. All right, Daryl. Thank you very much. Okay. Arnie, back to you. All right. Thank you, John. And again, Daryl Wilson improves to 17 and 0. Two draws, 11 knockouts. Stays at 11 KOs. The knockout eluded him here. Ricky Sullivan drops down to six 